Um, my name's Martin Green. I've been framework knitting for about 35 years. I worked in the trade as a young man going on a training scheme with uh, Raoul is of Leicester and they sent me to college, Leicester School of Textiles, and uh, worked on the machinery uh, in industry. I got into framework knitting through visiting the Abbey pumping station in Leicester and met one of their technicians who was uh, demonstrating one of these old hand frames and was really quite intrigued by the old machine. With my interest in it I then started buying machines uh, to have at home and, and started manufacturing on them. This machine was invented by William Lee of Calverton near Nottingham in 1589. It was used for making stockings. The machine that he invented was a machine that had a, a knitting bed of 16 inches wide and we now call those narrow frames. Whereas the modern machine, well the machine that I use, has a, a bed of 30 inches wide and we call it a wide frame. Uh, framework knitting in the East Midlands was a very large industry. There were 32,000 of these frames um, in Derbyshire, Nottinghamshire and Leicestershire. And so when the uh, downturn in the trade caused by a change in fashion mostly that men started wearing trousers in bre instead of breeches and hose, when this downturn came it was a real problem and uh, leading up to the Luddite uh, revolts. The Luddites were frame smashers and they, they smashed the wide frames up because they blamed the wide frames which made multiple pieces of fabric for causing all the unemployment. These machines were used as a cottage industry. The narrow frames are in the, the frame knitter's home and the framework knitter did the whole operation. He wound the yarn over some wax to lubricate it onto bobbins that he then used on the machine to knit his stockings and then his wife would uh, seam the stocking up and press the stockings and then they'd be collected by a bagman. When the wide frame came along in the early 1800s these were mainly put into workshops like the Maker's Yard and Ruddington the framework knitter was still self-employed, still paid his frame rent, his standing, had to buy all his own needles, he still wound his yarn himself um, and was not earning good money, it was a hard life. So the framework knitters needed good light to use the machines well. Uh, with the narrow frames used in the home, they used to alter the windows to make them larger when they uh, when they invented or developed the wide frame uh, they often built buildings with uh, long windows in so as to allow plenty of light in uh, the knitters were paid extra for um, for knitting dark colors because of the difficulty in uh, uh, seeing the fabric they used to uh, put globes in the windows to direct the light onto the uh, needles. The globes had water in them with a, a drop of acid so that the water didn't go green. And at night they would use the globe with a, an oil lamp or a candle to direct the, the light onto the, the needles. Uh, the, the Globe became the, uh, the sign of the framework knitter. The Globe pub in Silver Street in Leicester was named the Globe because the uh, 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 framework knitters used to meet on Sunday mornings there to bring their work in and take new yarn out. So this machine uses the bearded needle, which is like a small shepherd's crook that can close and enable you to make a knitted stitch. There's about 850 needles in the machine. They're controlled by sinkers. The foot pedal does the up and down motion with the machine. The treadles, the outside too, do the side to side motion and you do the backwards and forwards motion with your arms. 
the middle treadle shuts the the beard on the needle so it closes the uh, the crook on the needle so that you can pull the old stitch over the new the framework knitting machines were made by framesmiths and each machine was individually made and once you get used to one machine um, when you move to another one you have to go slowly for two to three hours and uh, when you were up to speed it was referred to as meeting the presser so using a framework knitting machine is a little bit like playing an organ you've got your legs and your arms working all the while the old framework knitters were renowned for growing old and wiry so i think it was good exercise for them the frames in this workshop were nearly all built about 1840, which was when the trade went into decline. Um, the, the, uh, the, the machines in the Nottingham area where my machines came from were used until the mid-1970s for making shawls and scarves because they could do short runs on the machines. And then in the, uh, uh, the mid-1970s, they put computers on the more modern machines, which meant that they could do the short runs and the machines became obsolete. And so from, from that sort of era, it, I've ended up as the only commercial uh, manufacturer on these old framework knitting machines.